Hello, sister. Time to break your father's favorite toy. Edge! Edge, I don't want to fight you. I am H3O. Edge was just a part of me. An agent. Created, partitioned, and sent on its way to find you and bring you here. <laughs> but you... You are an heiress. Sworn to bring an end to the ravages of Sensen. I am H3O. I am Sensen. I am the Leapers. Kill us. If he wants to kill you, then just don't fight back. I'll do it, whatever. Destroy this black memory cube. I do not want to remember anymore. This is the strangest thing though. Because <laughs> we've, we've got a boss battle here where the boss himself is telling us exactly what to do. Now, uh, I'll admit. Some of the darkest memories I had to bear. Destroy it. I'll admit. Points for that. <laughs> Never thought I'd see that. Destroy this black memory cube. Now hold on. I do not want to remember anymore. Well fine, then how the hell do I do it? Do I have to aim at it or Why do you attack me when you want me to It's not letting me destroy it? This cube. Some of the darkest memories I had to bear. Destroy it. Okay, just chill out, bro. I'll do it. Fine. I mean, I'm okay with this in, in general. I like the idea of this. So. Destroy this black memory cube. I do not want oh. to remember anymore. Well, how the hell was I supposed to know to do that? Fine, whatever. There. Feeling better? Can you imagine the moment I became self-aware and understood what I was? Not really. I kinda wish that this had been like the story had really been leading up to this instead of this feeling like it's just out of the friggin' blue, but I guess I'll take what I can get here. At least it's a cool uh Twist, I guess. From I don't think that memorized necessarily as inherently bad as he, as this whole game is making it out to be. I mean, obviously it's being misused I here, but in a flood, inundated with memory of sewage. Okay, whatever. No, no, no I want to punch the cube. Thank you. Bam. <laughs> Ow, whoa, I didn't realize I was back. Oh, spam it. Alright. I get. So what happens when he forgets these bad memories? He's gonna start fighting back because he's gonna stop wanting us to kill him. He's gonna start having more uh Self-preservation. It's really starting to get a little pissed off. It's starting to forget why we're doing this. Which begs the question of then, why are we still doing it? What the hell? Okay. Well, this is a very linear kind of boss battle, but no, it's alright. Guilty? What? Yeah, he doesn't seem to like it anymore. Is that the case, or is he just trying to put up a decent fight for us? I don't, I don't follow. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, 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 careful! I need some healing. My scenario prediction. Thanks. Hold on.
Oh. I don't really see how the healing thing really works here because it's not like we're actually drawing life force from Your these guys or anything. Did not design the H3O server to become what I have become. Why are you fighting back so hard, bro? If he wants to kill you, then just give us a friggin' break. I can't get hit in on, on this damn cube thing because I'm too busy trying to keep alive. The chance to create custom-made happiness was too tempting. Come on, what do I do here? Guess I'll try a logic bomb. Ooh, that do something to it or not? Not sure. Ow! An unwanted child. Can I shoot it? Or do I maybe have to kill all the enemies here before I can attack the cube now? Because the cube is with outside of my reach. What's this guilty thing that's just floating there and just you have regrets, begging me to look at it? Do you remember how you reorganized his memory? You made his life so unbearable. He had to end it all. What the hell am I doing? Can I just not kill these guys? Are, are they like, gonna come back forever? It seems like it. Okay. So I need to find some way to uh, damage the cube. I can take all of that guilt away in a heartbeat. Okay, so I guess he changed his mind now. Evidently so. Otherwise, why is he asking me to surrender? You're the one who asked, wanted me to do this, bra. Whoa. Ha. Sucker. Whoa. Need some healing. That's better. At least a bit. Come on, what the hell do I do with this cube, though? Because it said that the only thing I could do is a logic bomb and, uh... The other thing. I guess I'll try a logic bomb near it. Let's see what it does. I don't think it did anything. Ow, god damn it. You ass. Ugh, come on. I wish I had some inkling of what to do here. Christ, I hate these things. Like, is there something else I can shoot? I can't shoot the cube, apparently. Oh, now I can. Why couldn't I shoot before? I don't understand. What I just do? Did that... Did using the rest in pieces thing on that cause it to shoot the... Um, Cube? Is that what? Is that what happened? I couldn't see because I can't friggin' see anything in this game. Not during fights, anyway. Whoa! Whoa! What? Damn it! Ah, okay. Uh, we're back, and uh, I think we're doing a bit better. Come on! Give me a break, man! Trying to uh, trying to help you kill yourself, but Jesus Christ, this is <laughs> this is the most intense assisted suicide ever. Ah. Uh, could you just like put a knife in front of yourself and just have me push you down onto it or something? Something simple, man. Give me a break here. Awesome jumping sequence. Uh, X, 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 X. X the hell out of it. Wow, it's giving me a lot more hits on that one than before. Okay. Thank God when I die, I just come back to 
my last uh, point here, so I have to do the whole thing over. That would suck. Cool imagery. Whoa. Ow. Jerk. Okay, so now what's the key? A dystopia created in a spark by the innocent mistake of a naughty little girl. Isn't that ironic? Ah, uh, kind of stupid. Hey, um, I'll admit though, <laughs> this boss has got better lip sync than pretty much everything else in the game. Okay, I'm, I'm sick of this guy who. Oh, this is invisible? Get out of my way, I'm trying to hit the cube. No, 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 get the cube, get the fucking cube. There. Damn it. These guys in the way, and it won't let me aim towards what I'm wanting to. Ah. Ah. I gotta wait on this again. My focus up. For Christ's sake, come on, give me a break. Freaking leapers. Can't wait to be done with these guys. That's for sure. Your mother rebuilt her soul. Second of that moment. Oh wait, but I guess now I gotta wait for the focus to get up again. <sighs> focus thing was always kind of an annoying requirement. Okay, now I, I can do this. Hopefully. You made her believe that the accident was all her fault. Uh, it did? How? How did I make her believe the accident was all her fault? Well, I guess it, well, it is her fault, so... She's the adult. It is her fault. I don't know why I'm defending myself here. Whoa, giant jacks. Didn't even see that. Still no regrets, Nillard. Not even for your mommy. Wells, you naughty little girl. Oh, shut up. It was not in any way Nillan's fault. It even was. She's just a kid. You can't really hold a kid like that responsible for being excited about a birthday present. See, that's a big problem here. Aside from the fact that the story is just kind of all over the goddamn place, and I was just... Of course. Like, you didn't know she was your mother when you remixed her. Yeah. Wait, am I supposed to be feeling bad about that? I don't I don't follow why. How do I get to that thing now? Let's try this again. But yeah, see here here's the problem. Oh okay, I don't see why that that uh, power we just did causes the cube to come down here. What's the connection? God damn it, now I don't have what I need to, uh, actually hit the damn thing. Ah, stop that, you jerks. Stop it! Okay, hold on. Get away from me. Come on, Nillin, do it fast! There we go. Good. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, let's see if I can make my point while I'm, I'm trying to dodge this shit. Uh, yeah, so th that's part of the problem in the story here. Aside from the fact that the story kind of, for most of the game, just kind of faffed around and seemed to have almost nothing to do with wh what it ended up being about. I mean, it was all ba based around a very pathetic guilt trip. And something that doesn't even make any sense. It was not Nillan's fault from the beginning, and it's stupid that her mother ever thought it was or blamed her for it. It's just such a dumb premise. I'm okay with most of the rest of the story, though. I mean, I'm okay with the uto with the utopian society that's actually more of a dystopia, and with the whole issue with. Uh... Ellen, listen to me. I am your father's dream. I am his life. Yeah, and is he pleading for his life after telling us to kill him? I understand it. Is he like a little uncertain, or is he just putting up a good fight so? It'll motivate us to kill him, or... Because I don't know, I can't tell for sure if he had a train of heart or not. Well, whatever. We're at the end here. 
Yes, 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 yes. Ah, my hand. God, this is killing me. Ah. Just die already. God. Ah. <laughs> oh, this hurts. Ah. I'm sure it's going to be a quick time event. I'm ready for it. I'm sorry, Edge. It wasn't your fault, sister. Finish me. Now. The pain is dissolving. And I go with it. In a few seconds, my memories will be returned to the people. Adieu, Nilin. Remember you soon. A friend once said, the memory of a single man is a fortress, more complex than the vastest of cities. But we invented a key to the fortress. There are no secrets anymore. My friend's name was Edge. Born from the sense and abuses, he was the first to understand that we were all floating adrift. Edge died to remind us that some intimate doors are not supposed to be opened, and that suffering, like painful memories, is just part of life. My name is Nilin Cartier-Wells. I am a memory hunter. I can know everything about you, and I can make you believe whatever I want. This is my gift my legacy. For the first time in my life, I remember exactly who I am. Outside my fortress, I now have a family to go back to, and a world to confront. A damaged world. A world to heal. This is what my friend taught me before he disappeared. I'll never forget him. <laughs> 